So today we're going to be benchmarking the new MacBook Pro Retina. So this one's rocking a 256 gigabyte hard drive. So let's go ahead and start this off with a boot test. So essentially the startup starts when you see the actual Apple logo, but anyways we'll just have it in there just to see from start to finish. This doesn't take very long and this is due to the new solid state technology in the new MacBook Pro Retina. So there you can see about 15 seconds, we'll just say 16.5. That is extremely fast for a computer. And uh, this uh, computer is actually rocking a quad core i7, 2.3 gigahertz, uh, hyper threading up to 3.3 gigahertz. And uh, this computer is really great. And I also custom configured this to have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we're going to start off with the Geekbench. So right here we have Geekbench 64 bit. So let's go ahead and load that up. So we're just going to go ahead and click run. You can see that this is the Mac OS X 64-bit, uh, uh, and this is the Retina Display MacBook Pro, i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and 10.7.4. We'll go ahead and click run, and uh, this should not take very long at all. So this comes out with a really great Geekbench score. Um, you really have to be familiar with Geekbench score, but really anything over 10,000 is pretty good. So right there we see that we have 12,000 and I think that my Mac mini server with a quad core i7, a solid state, 500 gigs of storage space and all that good stuff uh, gets around 10,000. So this new MacBook Pro has quite an edge and this is a laptop versus that being a desktop. So now we're going to go ahead and try with Nova Bench. You can see right here. So we're just going to click right here, and uh, this is going to load up with Nova Bench. This is another Geekbench kind of thing, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start some tests. Um, this is just for other people who use this and more familiar with this. Um, this is a, just another program, just to show you that um, a constant kind of thing. So I'm not too familiar with the scores as I am with uh, Geekbench, but this is just again the same thing as Geekbench. So we see that we have a score of 1,165. Um, I'm not too sure what to compare it to. Let's go ahead and click submit and compare. So it looks like the top um, scores on uh, Nova Bench is 2,922. Uh, so that means that this is coming in uh, pretty good. Uh, some scores go down to like 500, um, but this is a pretty good score. And this uh, tests really the RAM, the CPU, graphics, and all that good stuff. And it also ch checks the uh, solid state drive. The last test we are going to run is with the Blackmagic speed test. So let's go ahead and open that up and this will test the full uh, SSD speed. So this will tell us in uh, numbers what the actual speed is. So all we have to do is just click speed test start and it'll go ahead and give us a number for how fast this SSD really is. So right, we're coming in at 407-ish and read we are going all the way up to 448 kind of maxing out this little uh, radar thing. Um, so it's supposed to have up to 500 megabytes. Um, so this, this speed test is pretty accurate. Usually SSDs fall a little bit short of what um, they actually are in uh, manufacturer stats. Overall, the new MacBook Pro is really, really great. I definitely like the new uh, Retina display and the performance from this is amazing. I recently edited a video with it and exporting did not take very long. So guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe and look forward to more videos on the new MacBook Pro.